Matt, before we start talking about Saturday's game against Carlisle, just your thoughts on obviously the decision to replay the FA Cup game against Bradford. We, we accept the decision. Um, we support the, the, the research and investigation which has gone into what happened on, on Tuesday night. Um, and unfortunately, myself and, and the, the club made a mistake in relation to thinking we could make that extra substitution in, in added on time or in extra time. Um, and I wasn't the only one who thought that as well on the evening. Obviously, officials played a part in that and, and the opposition. So it's a real shame because I don't want to take anything away from what was a, a fantastic night and another good performance. How has this affected the preparation, if at all, for Saturday? I imagine, is it in the back of your mind, really, while preparing for the game? Not really. I mean, it's different competition. Um, in football and in life itself, you've got to put anything negative behind you straight away. You've got to learn from it. We understand the mistake which was which was made. Um, and like I said, I don't want to take anything away from that, that performance and that end to the game, which was on such a high. So I think we all felt, felt a little bit low yesterday as, as a club and as a, a group of staff. Um, but all our focus today has been on this weekend's fixture and one we look forward to and our next opportunity, so to speak. So we've had some tired bodies around the place today, um, but that was only on the back of the, the, the you know, the, the effort they put in on Tuesday night. Um, we shouldn't go unnoticed, and I know we've got to do it all again in a couple of weeks. Um, but we had some tired bodies today, so we've looked after the boys as best we possibly can because um, we'll need some more energy again going into the weekend. And I think, I imagine for the players, as much as it now doesn't count for anything, they've still played that game, they've still played how they did, they still picked up the win, um, and that's sort of good momentum to take into this weekend. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, like I say, how, how high we all felt after the game on, on Tuesday, whether it was the, the celebrations in the Big Bank or or seeing the lads after the game. And, you know, like I say, the, the amount of effort they put in, they, they deserve more to show for it than, than what's happened in the last couple of days. But like I say, that's that's, that's my responsibility as manager of the, the football club. So we quickly put that to one side. Um, and I, I don't know whether that game counts towards our runner form or in terms of the games we've been unbeaten for. Um, either way, we, we know that we played the game. Everyone who was there witnessed the, the performance and the scenes towards the end. Um, and now all our focus is on, on this weekend which will be a really stern test Obviously Carlisle have been going through a period of transition Keith Millen coming in as manager in the last couple of weeks um, what have you made of Carlisle's season so far? Well obviously they've had a difficult time of it um, but picking up under the, the new manager uh, I think unbeaten in the last three games three clean sheets on the bounce a couple of wins in the cup competitions um, so they'll be coming to us with a little bit more confidence that they've certainly got more structure about the team Um He's obviously working very hard on the training ground with that, that group of players and, and they'll be a little bit fresher, maybe mentally and physically, than, than we are on the back of the week. We've just had they've had a three weeks training um, in build-up to the weekend. So um, he, he might have changed a little bit more in terms of their, their preparation and, and their patterns. Um, but the personnel won't change too much. We're not inside a window as yet. So in terms of bodies, which opposition and ourselves can use, um, everyone's a little bit limited, but um, we freshened the team up to a certain extent on Tuesday um, and we'll be looking to do the same again on, on Saturday because we know how we feel. We, we, we play at our best at home um, and that's on the front foot and that's taking the game to the opposition. and That's something we'll be looking to do with the right personnel this weekend. How is the squad looking? Obviously, I think there was a little bit of concern about Sam Nombe at the end of, of Tuesday. Yeah, look, he's not been on his feet today. There's been a certain group off feet, so to speak, doing recovery um, and in the gym and with the physios and Sam's been part of that. So we'll see how he gets the, the boots on tomorrow and see how he's moving. Um, it's not an injury as such. It's a tightness in that in that calf, which is always a worry. Um, and due to the load he's, he's had to undertake this season. Um, so we'll assess him tomorrow, but we expect him to be fit for the weekend. Kyle Taylor's done some unopposed training today. Uh, we'll assess him tomorrow. Hopefully he can train tomorrow with a view for Saturday. Um, and then the rest of the group is not in a, a bad position. Obviously, Podge comes back uh, available again. Um, it feels like he's missed more games than what we expected. Um, but he's available again for the league. I think when we've been speaking to some of the players post-match and in pre-match chats as well, they've spoke about the togetherness of the squad and the camaraderie they all have. Do you think this squad feels different this season to perhaps squads you've managed in previous years? That's, a, that's an interesting question, Craig, because over over recent seasons, I'm sure the same communication has come out from the players um, and the same um, feelings towards each other have been relayed. Um, that It's a close-knit group. They all get on pretty well. They enjoy spending time with each other. So I don't think this season is too different in terms of what they're talking about and what they're saying. Um, but in terms of their actions and maybe 
what they're going through together in terms of this running this together in this collective sort of effort to keep being successful. Um, we're seeing that they are all in, not to say players haven't been all in in recent seasons, but there seems to be a that they take that togetherness onto the pitch as well, um, which is a real marker for any football manager or any football club. And like I say, we, we've always had a good environment and a good group of players, no matter what the season or what the year it is at Exeter City. But this season, they just seem to not care anymore, um, just feel it a little bit more, but feel it with each other. Um, and, and by saying that, I'm probably a alluding to that they, they are in a really good place at the moment and with that then I mean there's a busy busy period coming up Saturday Tuesday effectively till Christmas now that's when they're really going to need to stick together and I mean how do you manage such a, such a busy period because that, that's a lot of games coming up it is you know we learned a lot from from last season where sometimes it simplifies it where you had less time on a training ground and, and, and just games um, you touched upon it there Saturday Tuesday up until Christmas and then Christmas and New Year is the biggest period, busiest period for any, any football club um, playing every three days. So, so many games, but that's that's so many opportunities. Um, and people will talk about our strength of squad or size of squad this season. It's certainly going to be utilised in the next couple of months. Um, and like I've said time and time again, we'll, we'll know where we are in terms of the, the league and the cup competitions by Christmas. That's an obvious statement, but you know you can guarantee the amount of opportunities in the next few weeks for the whole squad. Um, and similar to what we saw last week with the likes of Harry Kite and Josh Cole in the war between back in the in the group and Colin Daniel, um, that they're ready to play. And my job and my staff's job is to keep them ready to play so that when they do play, they give a, a good account of themselves. And, our team doesn't change too much in relation to performance, despite changing personnel. So, some really good signs at the moment. Um, but we know what football's like. We know how quickly it can change, um, whether that's a form um, or injuries or suspensions. Um, the key thing is is to stay level no matter what happens.